Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a regular pentagon given its apothem A. The apothem of a regular polygon is a line segment from the center of the polygon to the midpoint of any one of its sides. The length of this apothem is also the radius of a circle inscribed in the regular pentagon. First of all, we are going to calculate the side of a regular pentagon inscribed in this red circle. Then we are going to draw the final pentagon which will be proportional to the inscribed one. So the first step is to draw a vertical line in the center of our screen. And this is going to be the axis of symmetry of our pentagon. Now on this line, we are going to mark a point O, which will be the center of the pentagon and the inscribed circle that we want to draw. Okay, so the next point is setting our compass to the length of the given apothem A. And we're going to transport this onto the vertical line, setting our compass on O. We'll scribe an arc to get a new point, P. And we will also, with the same radius, draw a circle, as shown here in the video. And the next step is to draw a horizontal diameter, as can be seen here which will cut the circle on the right hand side of the circle at a new point which we will call Q. So now we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the radius OQ. To do this with our compass set on point O and a radius slightly greater than half the radius OQ, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point Q, we're going to scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. And now we will join these two points where it cuts the radius OQ. This will be the midpoint M of the radius. So now with our compass centered on M, and radius MP, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter at a new point, which we will call R. So this length PR is going to be the length of the side of the regular pentagon inscribed in the circle. So now we have to calculate the midpoint of the line PR by working out its perpendicular bisector. And to do this, we use our compass set on the point R and a radius slightly greater than half the length of PR, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point P, we're going to scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. And now we will join these two points and where it cuts the line PR, this will be the midpoint N of the side PR. So the next step is to draw a horizontal line parallel to the center diameter and going through the point P, as can be seen here. Now, setting our compass on point P and with a radius PN, we are going to scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the horizontal line at a new point we will call L. Now, from point L, we draw a perpendicular line until it cuts the circle at a new point which we will call K. So the next step is to join the center point O with the point K and elongate it until it cuts the horizontal line at a new point that we will call B, which is going to be a final vertex of the regular pentagon that we want to draw. So now setting the compass to the length OB, we will draw another circle as shown here. Where this circle intersects with the horizontal line is going to be another vertex of the base of the pentagon, which we will call A. Now setting the compass on A and to the length AB, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the outer circle at a new vertex, which we will call E. Now with the same radius and setting the compass where the outer circle cuts the vertical line, which we are going to call vertex D, we are going to scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the outer circle again at the last vertex, which we will call vertex C. So now we have our five vertices, A, 
B, C, D, and E. And the only step left is to join the five vertices with a thicker line. So first of all, we will join vertex A to B, as can be seen here. Now vertex B to C, vertices C to D, D to E, and finally E to A. So here you have the regular pentagon given its apothem A. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you very much.